Legion, Season 2, Episode 10, Thoughts. This episode is called Chapter 18, another episode I love. Spoilers for every X-Men TV show and, and, you know, all the Fox movies. The episode is rated TVMA, so this video will be, let's dive right in. So, yeah, the, the, I really love this gigantic hole that, like, and there's a, there's a bathtub water stopper thing right next to it, you know, and the, the chain and everything. And, yeah, you know, Sid, of course, she, she tends to this, this rabbit. And then, you know, because she is still holding the, the, the hook, you know, yeah, she gets pulled in, you know, hook, line, and sinker. The, the, the rabbit was bait, you know, and, and, yeah, you know, who wouldn't fall for that? Who, you know, we, we see a cute little bunny rabbit, of, of course we're going to try to help it. And, um, yeah, as, as usual, going to be jumping around a bit. But, yeah, um, Melanie, you know, talks to her, and she's still, you know, talking about, you know, not needing men. And I do think it's interesting that by the end of this episode, we learn, you know... Farouk was taking possession of her body, so I suppose maybe it is that he is, you know, maybe, like, he's maybe tapping into something that's there and amplifying it, because she really hasn't sounded quite this, you know, anti-man or misandrist, I suppose. Is the, you know, I don't have a problem with the character being misandrist, but I can't help but wonder if that's a, where, where at least some of it is, is coming from, because we do know that Farouk thinks, you know, he thinks mutants are amazing, but he thinks human beings are nothing. You know, he, he refers to us as ants. And the, yeah, you know, it's, if, if you can, if you can win someone over by just sharing the truth, that can be extremely effective for your cause. And seemingly, Melanie Farouk just shows Sid true things about David. I did not expect them to actually show, at, at first, you know, like already them going like hostile and having David torture Oliver with a, with a drill you know, great bit where it goes between locations as he's drilling into his leg. At first I thought, oh, they're not actually going to show the drill going into, but they they actually show, it's not quite as graphic as, you know, torture porn movies, but it was still more than I, I thought that they would. And yeah, it is a, a good point, you know, there is a, one could imagine David going bad and the let's see I think that might be what I have to say for that chunk of the episode I really loved Lenny Johnny you know she she is walking with the the little thing that has the weapon walks past the you know the, the whole she she yeah she finds the the monks and they've all got safes where their heads should be and you know she's like so what are we doing and she's oh meditating okay I guess I could do this never say Lenny isn't isn't up for anything and yeah you know the the you know she asks have any of you guys seen was that a, a, a temple church some, something like that you know and all of them point. I did briefly think that they were going to be pointing in different directions, but no, all of them do point in the same direction. She's like, Th "Thanks," and you know, walks off. I love the part where she gets out the weapon, and it's this, you know, the way that they make it happen is, of course, that the exact spot where she's sitting, 
there, you know, there's a box under the the ground that holds most of the the prop, and they put the the little box on top of it. But yeah, within the world of Legion, I 100% believe that they could make a box that could hold a gun that big, and it looks less inconspicuous, not entirely inconspicuous, but less to to just be carrying around this little thing instead of like a, a rifle-sized bag, you know, and. Let's see. Yeah, loved when you know the 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 carries get to the hole, and a bunch of of people come out, and they've got these things that they wave in the air like they just don't care, and the ringing sound just completely you know the the guards can't handle it. They collapse, and you know carry with a K. It's like, I got this, and, you know, uses her staff. Such a cool fight scene. And then once she's taking them out, another wave appears, you know, and you just see her eyes. It's so cool. And let's see. Yeah, but, you know, eventually there's only two left, and Lenny shoots, you know, and, and walks up carrying the, the rifle looking incredibly badass. And let's see, yeah, Carrie with a C ends up going into the, the hole. So Carrie with a K goes after. And yeah, really cool to see more of the, the Minotaur. And let's see, yeah, and it gets a bit of an upgrade. And Farouk ends up in his own body and, you know, comes back out and just like does a little hand movement and everyone collapses except the vermilion who are machines so telepathic attacks are not gonna you know but they're like okay we're not gonna win this one retreat and let's see we have the um, I like that when Carrie with a C is like <clears throat> kinda freaked out he repeats the 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 uh crap what's it called again the the um yeah you know the he says M A magnesium and and those various yeah I forget what it's called in English I did take I guess biology or is it chemistry but it you know in Danish so and the let's see I, that might be about Right, also really love the image, very, I guess it was yeah, one of the first images in the episode where, like, the, you know, a group, like, possibly monks, arrive at a place and, like, Lenny is sitting there, like, with blood and, you know, David is, like, on a throne, just, yeah, really, really cool. And, and you know, skeletons all around, you know, lo looking like... I don't know, Attila the Hun or something. I think that might be everything that I had. Oh, right, right. I like, you know, when when the Minotaur comes, you know, Carrie's like, I got this. It says, like, no, I need to punch something. That was, yeah. I think that is all that. Oh, right, really devastating when we realize Oliver, you know, Farouk was no longer in his body, and, and David realizes, I tortured a friend for, you know, and, and I got absolutely nothing out of it. So, IMDb trivia, uh, David's appearance to open this episode is very reminiscent of his comic book counterpart, specifically the hair standing straight up in the red and black sleeveless jacket open over his bare chest. And let's see, yeah, and someone pointed out the, you know, the sonic device is somewhat reminiscent of an LARD, and yeah, I'm going to try to do the finale tomorrow. I am really, really excited to see how this season ends, so yeah, hope to catch you then.